we're going to be doing um we're basically going to be styling this number one here um, it's a light up number one i bought this off someone that had I bought it from someone else and she was going to like replace the ones she had before so she sold off this to me so to be honest i don't have any idea of how it's made or how to buy one um but i could recommend if you're in the uk i know some groups where people talk about styling and all of that so you could just send me an email and i'll let you know right so the colors we're using today i'm sorry we have to the color we're using a little double text made by oak to it's a uk company um so this is their pastel matte pink i've never used this before i've used their chrome balloons before but i've never used this matte pink before i'm going to just see what it's going to look like and then i've got pistachio this is a brand i use sometimes um it's quite limited but their balloons are not bad at all um i get this from tiger Foods, and it's a bit the, the, the color is called pistachio um yeah it's close to like not as close enough but close to like the quality eucalyptus yeah and then i've got coral from belbo um then the only type of soft color in this colors would be the mustard um but if you're not ready to you know double stock you just buy mustard from top text um this is a double stock golden rod stuffed with um black so you could double stock to get mustard golden rod stuffed with black or stuffed with chocolate those are the two colors you could use to get mustard if you do not have a mustard from top text so those are all the colors i'm using and i've got some five inches in all the colors so we're just going to style this is number one, so it's like a first birthday kind of idea. So the plan is, I'm going to like um, arrange the balloon with um, IKEA stand. So this is an IKEA stand. Um, anyway, let's get into inflating the balloons, and I will explain how this is going to go. So I'm going to start off with the coral first. <laughs> Press it down. Two different sizes. Yeah, tie. So. Down. You see, slow now. Wrap it around this one. So that's a cost of four. So with the mustard you see i've got like a couple of 16 inches of the mustard so So guys, quick reminder about the mustard color again. You do not have to double stuff it. I double stuffed this one because I didn't have mustard in stock. You can get mustard from Toftex. Mustard from Toftex. There's a Toftex, um, Toftex supplier here in the UK. And I'm sure the people in the United States and everywhere have their suppliers. Or just check their website or Instagram. Good. So we're going to like put this up here stand at the back of the number one so the plan is to like um put the balloons on this side and on that side and then you know you could extend your ikea pole if you want this um, design to be taller but let's see how it goes so i'm going to take them cluster by cluster so this is the first set of four to get this four what you need to do is you need to wrap two balloons together like so I showed you earlier how you inflate them and size them. So you take two, then you wrap it together. Yeah, like that. And then you take the neck of this one and then tie it onto this one. So you have one set. So it could come this way. Because since we're doing we're color blocking, we're not doing mixing the colors together. So next is the 
is this one so this is 16 inches then 11 inches a mix of 11 inches like that so I'm going to take another cluster I'm going to take the neck of the inner balloon Tie it onto this one. So that's another cluster. Tight, yeah? So I want this to be at the bottom on this side. So I'm going to get my 350 here. Yeah. I'm going to wrap this at the bottom around here. Okay. So the neck is what I'm going to attach to the eye cast stand. Obviously, their cat's arch is, is moving. So I'm going to do the same thing I did on this side, on the other side. I'm going to bring the camera close up so you can see how I'm going to find this onto the stand. So here is a close shot of how I just arrange on the column. Um, so what I initially, I think I wanted to like let the number one sit into the balloons, but I realized it couldn't work that way. Um, so yeah, all you need to do is once you've done your cluster, just use your 350 q to wrap it into the stand you can see i just used the 350 to wrap it round and then you put the next cluster on top of the first one you put on like i'm doing here just make sure you when you wrap it round the um ikea stand you make sure you you know wrap it around tightly and then when you take it into the sorry when you wrap it around the pole make sure you wrap the 260q to the bottom um so what i do when i set the colors since we're you know we're color blocking so i tend to like arrange colors that i think would um you know like colors that I think look good together I, I arrange them next to each other I hope you understand what I mean like I know the pistachio and pink are like two awesome colors that I can you know that that would work together so I arrange them like next to one another and then again I had more of the pistachio sorry i think i had more of the pink and the pistachio than the mustard and the um the coral um so also i know coral and mustard will be two colors that would you know they wouldn't mind being together and then i knew that the coral and the pistachio would you know the, like a, it would be like a marriage like a marriage made in heaven <laughs> So yeah, so you need to, when you're doing, you know, this color blocking thing arrangement, my opinion, in my opinion, you need to make sure when you're, you know, putting your clusters together, especially if you're using like four colors that are, like I'm using here and to make it easy for you, 
know the colors you're going to be putting next to each other. Do you understand? So as you're building, you're not worried that, oh, there'll be a color clash or, you know, because, you know, the balloon walls we do these days, you could use so many different colors together. But for it to like have that wow look at the end of the day, you need to make sure the colors, you know, they complement, you know, one another. Um, so like the mustard and pink, I knew it could work together at this spot. So all the colors in this um, color chart are colors that would work together generally. But... At the same time, I I didn't want a color bleeding into another color and then it doesn't look the way I want it to look. I hope you understand my gibberish. I don't know how to explain it better, but I'm sure you would understand what I mean as you go along in the video. Um, and so also, I know some of you would wonder why I'm using 350Q to like put the balloons together. I don't know if I've, I mentioned it at the beginning of the video. Um, I, cause I had, I was gifted 350 cues and yes, I am not much of a twister, but it's been really useful for me. So I use them when I'm, you know, putting my garlands together when I don't have 250 Q. But I'm not saying you should buy 350 Q because 350 cues are more expensive than a 260 Q. Um, they get exp more expensive as just like when you buy the five inches, they are cheaper than the 11 inches, 11 inches are cheaper than the 16 inches. So that way, that's the way it works with the Q balloons to the, and, and some people would ask me, Oh, what balloons are the Q balloons? They are the, um, the long balloons. That's what I'm using here. I'm using a 260 Q, um, to put the balloons together. So you make sure you push everything together tightly. Um, so also, I know you would be asking about the inflation, the sizing and all of that. Um, I tend to like inflate a couple like big a couple of big ones and a couple of you know smaller sizes so let's say i do some in um since i'm using mainly 11 inches balloons in this design only the mustard i think only the mustard had 16 inches every other color had 11 inches um so i tend to like inflate some into like 10 10 inches no sorry some into like nine inches and then some into like eight inches some into like six inches some into like five inches you know so that the random look will be there so this bunch i am holding at the moment that's uh 16 inches with the 16 inches was was inflated into um like 14 14 inches and then I wrapped it around a couple of 11 inches that I inflated randomly. Do you get? Yeah, so just try and use that technique and I'm sure you'll be fine. You just need to, because the skeleton or what would I, the, the main structure, that's the body of the garland of the, of the design isn't your finished product. Your finished product is when you add your five inches your flowers and your foil balloons you know so do not really like stress about the main structure but at the same time stress make sure the main structure looks nice enough for everything else you're going to be adding to it um you, you would see that in the um thumbnail for this video um i had flowers on the wall in one of in the thumbnail um yeah so i just decided in the second day after i did the design to add some flowers to see what it was going to look like after i had filmed the uh, this video 
and it looked really really good yeah so i took new pictures again so yeah you could add flowers and it would be great if the flowers were even like matching colors did you know you could spray paint your flowers yes you could spray paint your flowers all you need is floral spray paint or a really good spray paint and yeah you can spray paint your flowers to whatever colors you as long as the spray paint is available in that color that you require Now, um, you might be thinking, oh, how can I, you know, make this bigger, you know, if I was going to like do a bigger balloon wall, all you need to do is just use two columns and this one, you could even make it bigger with just the one stand, just add water weight or sand weight to the bottom to like, but this was really secure. Like it didn't even shake or move. It was just perfect. And it was just one Ikea stand I used for it. So you can imagine. I could have done, you know, I could have made it bigger than this, but because of the balloons I had, you know. So I'm just trying to like extend the bottom, you know, bring out the bottom a bit to make it, you know, give you that extra wow effect. Can you see, I'm just wrapping the two, 350 round the balloons that are already there and I'm adding clusters to it. So that same 350, I'm going to wrap it into that one. See? So your garland looks like this and you're thinking, oh, this looks fab, I'm done. No, you need to like bring out the actual beauty. And how do you bring out the beauty? By adding accents, like you could add four balloons, you could add five inches, you could add, you know, whatever sizes of balloons to bring out, you know, the whole look of what you've done. So I'm going to start adding five inches now. And I'm going to make sure the five inches doesn't bleed so i'm adding my five inches clusters to it now um and all i'm doing is i'm just using the nozzle of the balloon that is that is there already to wrap the five inches round i'm not using 260 or 350q at this time um the only time i would use the 350 or 260q is if the neck is like further in like i can't like pull it out i can't pull it well enough or if i pull it too much it could affect the balloon structure yeah like then i would use a 350 or a 260q and when you even use a neck of the balloon that is there already it brings everything tighter it makes it you know it makes the cluster tighter and neater for you So just add the five inches. The five inches, normally what I do is I, I tie them into like, I inflate them into like 2.5 inches or three inches. Then I tie like two, some two clusters and then I tie some three clusters. And then I, so the two clusters I can wrap into four and then the three clusters, I just use them that way. 
um, and there are times I could wrap the three clusters with the two clusters to make five you know it just depends on how big your structure is that is the if it's a garland or a balloon wall or the look you're aiming for yeah I love how the colors you know i didn't think the colors were going to like look really as good as this so remember the colors i used were coral mustard pistachio and pink this i think would be perfect colors for a first birthday party or a um it could i think it could work for like a any age birthday party really um and maybe a, a baby shower it depends on how how much you love to explore yeah so guys thank you for joining me once again on this tutorial i hope you learned a thing or two if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i will definitely respond to you if I don't respond immediately, it's either because I'm busy or something, but I will definitely get back to you. Please drop a comment of your questions. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, yeah, guys. And remember to share this video. Do not keep it to yourself. We want more people watching this channel. Thank you once again and enjoy the rest of your day. Happy ballooning. Bye. And guys, please remember to subscribe to my channel if you're new and you're not subscribed yet. Subscribe for more videos. I promise there's always a new video every week, three times a week. New videos, new ideas, beautiful designs, inspiring colors, you name it. Subscribe and you will be glad you did. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Bye.